Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is Mimolt. So happy to be here with you guys today. I hope that y'all enjoyed your weekend. It's Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday and we all know how we feel about Monday. So we're going to get you guys some videos uh, rolling so that y'all can enjoy a little bit of Clash and some balloons later. Before you go back to school, I need to uh, load up my expos and my traps. But as you guys can see, we've got a lot of Dark Elixir and all we need is 45,000 to upgrade our king. So we're going to upgrade him in a second, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of the raids that got us there. And then we're going to try and get even more because honestly, I wouldn't mind researching some other stuff. Like, um, I wouldn't mind going in here and researching my poison spell because we use those a good amount, but that's 25,000. So I don't have enough for that. But let's go ahead, jump into these replays, guys, and then get a live one uh, for y'all as well, all right? So both of the replays that I'm going to show y'all today have a good amount of Dark Elixir. This base is pretty good. This is a pretty good base. Look at his walls. Everything's upgraded. He's got all max mortars, all max cannons, all max archer towers, all max wizard towers. This is a maxed out Town Hall uh, 9. He's, cr I mean, not fully maxed out, but you know what I'm saying. So he's crushing it. We've got our giants over here. We've got our wall breakers getting up in there. That wizard tower is doing work, but that wall breaker gets in there, takes him down. Um, and uh, we have a heal spell, rage spell down. The giants are working their way around. I kind of wish that they had gone into the core, but look at that perfect wall breaker placement right there. The wall breakers went all the way around. We're going to drop off that rage, get those giants all the way over into the core of the base with the king, with the queen. The king went right into the middle after those skeleton traps. Guys, some of the time, skeleton traps aren't good like they pulled my king in there they pulled my king into the core of the base which is exactly what i wanted i wanted my king to go into the core you can see right now everybody in the core is down all the giants that were in there king's going down but he's taking out that dark elixir for us we're going to use his ability he's going to take it all out those other giants came from this side over here um we've got one star that doesn't really matter to me that much but what i really wanted was for my queen to run around now and take out the gold storages, but she was in range of that cannon right there, which sucked because it was doing so much damage to her. We've got these archers over here doing some work, but that mortar takes them out. Queen goes down, 10 seconds left. I'm like, what the heck do I have left? My poison spell? It's not going to do anything. <laughs> but as you can see, we got 2,272 dark elixir, guys. Beast. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I've seen a lot of you guys commenting down below saying, Molt, this strategy is working really, really well for me. Thank you so much for using it and showing it to me. Um, I know that a lot of you, or some of you guys, I've seen comments, just want to see like new things. You want to see whatever, uh, new strategies. But this is what I'm using right now. This is what I'm using when I play Clash right now because I'm trying to grind out Dark Elixir and I'm trying to upgrade my heroes because heroes are very important and we need to get them up. But I'm going to show you guys one more attack and then we're going to go find a live one and see if we can get some good Dark Elixir live for y'all, all right? Uh, here's the second one. Another really good base. Look at his walls, guys. His walls are beast. He's upgraded his walls really, really well. The only thing about his core is it looks like the Dark Elixir is safe, but there's not a large enough gap um, for, the, uh, for the Dark Elixir to avoid ranged attacks. So... That's what ends up being this guy's demise. We get a wall breaker all the way up in there. Giants are going around, taking everything out. There comes some of the skeleton traps. Our queen's up in there. Our king is up in there. There goes the gold. We are doing some serious work right now. And guys, these were actually from my stream the other day. Uh, we got we played Clash live. We always switch between Clash and Bloons whenever my troops are training up. So if you guys want to watch live streams from me, um, there's a link down below for Camcord. If you just follow, you'll get a notification whenever I go live. Normally I tweet it out as well. But you can see our archers taking out that Dark Elixir for us, getting it all. 2,316 Dark Elixir right there. Our heroes are still working their way around. I'm not worried about anything. These walls are pretty beast, and they're causing some troubles for uh, my troops as they work their way around the base. You can see these archers up here doing work, but they get taken out by that mortar. And then we've got a whole herd of giants. Look at all these giants over here. There's so many giants. I don't, I'm not too sure why they're all split up. If they were all just focused on one wall right here, then uh, everything would be a little bit different, but not that big of a deal, whatever. And our queen's going to end up taking out the Tesla, and then the giants are going to go over there anyway. So <laughs> just ridiculous. King's ability's already been used. Giants are working their way around. Queen's ability has not been used yet, 
and there's still this elixir storage right there that we should be able to come in here and take out. The queen is going to clutch it right here and take out the wizard tower right before it kills the last of the giants, but obviously that didn't really do too much because those other point defenses, the cannon and the archer tower, were able to take her out. But here goes her ability. She's going to take out the rest of that elixir for me. I love her for it. She is my lady. Uh, crushing it. Absolutely crushing it, guys. 2,328 uh, Dark Elixir, 223,000 gold and 300,000 Elixir. That was an epic raid, but let's see if we can find one just as good for you guys to watch right now, all right? All right, guys, so we found this base. Obviously, it's not upgraded that well, but there's 271,000 Elixir, which isn't bad, and 1,100 Dark Elixir. So we're actually going to attack this, try and get all that Elixir, just work our way around the base. Thankfully, it's not upgraded that well, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to do that let's go ahead and drop off our giants and get uh we're just gonna get one wall breaker up in there right now because we should be able to break through that wall fairly easily yep there we go so we're gonna get the giants up in there i i, <laughs> I just realized that i don't have all of my spells made but since we have this base thankfully it doesn't really matter if we have all of our spells made or not so we're gonna go ahead and get our heroes up in here as well uh have them work their way around the base We'll drop off some archers um, over here, and let's go ahead and rage up right here in the center of it all so that the giants can work their way around. They're taking a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and heal them up right now as they uh, recover from the wizards. Wizards always do so much damage to giants, um, and uh, yeah, you got to pay attention to your giants at all times because they are the core, the force behind your uh, behind your attack. We're going to go ahead and take the town hall out of there as well. But we've got all these giants over here that are heading into uh, the core, uh, not the core, over to that last elixir storage over there. Our queen and king are practically at full health. Our king is uh, that's taking a little bit of damage, but not a problem. Queen is still looking like she's at full health. Uh, we've only got one giant left over there. We've got a couple over here. King's behind them. I don't know why the king's getting focused when he's behind the giants, but whatever. Uh, all these archers over here are absolutely crushing it. No problem whatsoever for them. Everything is distracting except for that little archer tower right there. Our queen over here, full health, just looking pretty like she just got her hair done or something. King's working his way around. She's going to go ahead, and we are going to three-star this base. Thank you very much for all the loot. Almost 60,000 dark elixir. I'm surprised I've been able to hold that much. Um, oh no, <laughs> Illuminati confirmed with the 666 over there. We didn't even use the Queen's ability. Dang it. I hope that she didn't take any damage because then she's going to have a little bit of a cooldown on her. But biggest thing here, guys, what we've been waiting for the whole video is upgrading the Queen. So we're going to, oh, I'm not the Queen, the King. So we're going to go ahead, upgrade him while he's down. Boom. It's going to take five days going up to level 11. There he goes. We're going to get him all the way up to 15. And then we're going to switch back to the queen after that, which is going to be very, very sad for us because I love her and I do not want her, uh, I don't want her to be down. I don't want her not to be up and functioning. So we're going to train up some more troops, get after it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, guys, make sure you all follow uh, the camcord link down below if you all want to see me stream. If you don't want to see me stream, perfectly fine. I don't really mind, but it is a blast either way. Love you very much. And as always, make sure you keep calm and your class on, all right? Peace.